Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and an absolutely gloomy day. The whole week it has been superbly sunny uh, coming back from Monaco and it's been a while since I've done a Q&A and I'm going to be doing this video with Car Throttle in conjunction with my latest Reader's Ride video that's going live on Car Throttle right now, which I'm super excited about and if you're missing my baby blue Audi R8 then head over, check out that video. This video I'm going to be pulling up and answering all of your questions that were underneath my car car throttle post announcing that I was doing this Q&A. At the moment there's 116 questions so I'll try and get through all of them in this video but first I need to park up. So here is my post on the car throttle website ask me anything. Number one Alex Kirsten what supercar is on your shopping list next? Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 or Ferrari 458 or the new Audi R8 V10 Plus or the new McLaren 570S. From Ethan how do you get your hair so perfect? It actually takes me about five minutes to do my hair. It doesn't take long at all. I normally just get out of bed and just go to work like that. It's half bed hair, half hairspray and hair wax. Mark Madrid, what is the silliest thing you've done with your car? Turn the traction control off in the wet. Freddy Skeets, boobs or bum? Both. Jehen Jehenrik, why didn't you join the Gumball 3000? I did it last year, this year because it was up north in the countries and also in America as well. I was logistically too difficult and I also went to the Monaco Formula 1 Grand Prix which for me much better. Zucca Bulgashvili, hopefully I pronounced that right, Impressa STI or Lancer Evo? I have to go with the Impressa, Impressa STI. Gabs, what car would you buy from the budget of £5,000? My uh, Vauxhall Astra SXI, I'd buy it back even though it's been written off. I'd buy it back. Florian Bench, do you like old cars too? Or are you a young timer, E30? I do love the previous M3s before the E92, the E46, the one that Adnan's got. Love that car. I'd probably have to say no in general to the old cars. Sam Stone, what's the top speed you reached in your R8? 170 miles an hour on the Autobahn in Germany. Dekail CH, kittens or puppies? Tough one actually kitten. Dr. Chicane, can I lick your nose the next time I'm in London? I'll be gentle. I can lick my own nose. Benefits of having a big nose. Ander uh, or Andir, McLaren P1 LaFerrari or 918 Spider. 100% LaFerrari, it's the king hypercar. Tyler Schick, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses. 100% I would fight 100 duck-sized horses because you can just tread on them. Ariel G has got an interesting question. School always points us as to standardised careers. How did you overcome that and are you happy with your choice? So I went to school, I did my GCSEs and A-levels which are the UK examination boards. After that I did go to university and did a business management degree so I kind of followed the standardised path of education but whilst I was at university I realised that there was potential in growing a career on social media, the internet and YouTube and I'm 100% happy. This is obviously my huge passion. I love doing this and also the fantastic support from you guys on Car Throttle and Supercars of London um, is just insane. So I'm always going to continue making videos. Adam Highlands, will you let me drive your R8? Well, if you buy it off me, then I will. <laughs> Audi man, interesting question. Hurricane or Gallardo? I think overall as a car and a supercar, the Hurricane wins. The double clutch gearbox, the insane interior and technology that's involved in that car. But overall, the Gallardo was definitely more of a Lambo. Um, it was closer towards Lamborghini than Audi. So, difficult one. I'd have to say equal, but I'd probably like to own a Hurricane more because it's more reliable. Smiller. Can we see your girlfriend in a video? I've asked her many times and she says no. So unfortunately that's not gonna happen for a while but who knows what's gonna happen in the future, so maybe. Pierre Vincent, what do you think of supercar's future with all these regulations over the engine size, the turbocharged engine and the loss of manual gearboxes? Interesting question. I'm not a big fan of manual gearboxes, I much prefer the paddles, so I'm probably going to get ridiculed for that. Um, the turbocharged engines I wasn't a fan of to begin with, I've got a naturally aspirated V8, however the new McLarens sound amazing, and I'm starting to enjoy the turbo wash when you hear them on the, on the accelerator. Habib Treasure, if you had to choose a hot hatch for a second, second car in your lineup, what car would you choose? 
Audi S3 or Mercedes A45 AMG straight up. Inked hopes. Hi Paul, I don't have a separate question for you. Everything that I wanted to ask has already been posted already. Instead, I just wanted to thank you for traveling around and spotting cars for us. I also enjoy videos of your R8, even more so than the car spotting. You and Sam from Seen Through Glass make an awesome combo and tell him to make a bloody page here. Sam, make a page on car throttle. But Inked hopes, thank you very much. Hopefully I've answered your questions. Calvin Zahn. Would you choose to own any four supercars for the rest of your life or drive a new car every week? Cars are chosen randomly from luxuries to exotics. It would be a Zonda 760, a very highly tuned Aventador SV, and I wish I could have the next one up from the Aventador which has a double clutch. Then I'd probably have a 458 Speciale and then another supercar. Veyron Supersport. Have you been pulled over in your R8? If so, what for? I have been pulled over in my Audi R8. It was on the Gumball 3000 tour in Calais and all of the police were doing Gumball 3000 car checks. Everything was fine. They took my driver's license and I didn't get a speeding ticket. For Stigiana Graha? Are you thinking of buying a new supercar? Definitely, always actively thinking about buying the next supercar because it motivates me to earn more money, build my business, and then reach for the next goal, which at the moment is a Lamborghini by 25. Joshua Stimson, what camera do you use? A Sony CX570 or my iPhone 6? Fantastic front-facing camera for vlogs, so they're the two cameras that I use at the moment. J-Dub, what do you think about the new Audi R8 and do you prefer it to the Mark 1? I. I do prefer it to the Mark 1. I. I think the technological advances, the interior design has been vastly improved as to what goes on inside this car. The new R8 I. I think is a lot sharper, a lot more aggressive, and I think on the road with the wider and lower stance, I think it's going to look fantastic. So don't judge the new Audi R8 yet. Marcelo Spin Spinida. Hi Paul, love your videos. I would like to know how your passion for cars started. My passion for cars actually came from Formula One when I was about nine or 10 years old and I used to support Ferrari. And then I moved over to the Ferrari road cars. I got given a supercar book for a Christmas or birthday. Saw the Lamborghini Mercury Lago, which must have been 2002, making me 11. And from then on, I've been a Lambo fan ever since. Danny DeSicas, would you buy a 2015 Civic Si? I would, as a daily car, it'd be pretty cool. Can I, what hair product do you use for your hair? I use VO5 uh, molding, sculpting, something. Alfie Lawrenson, JDM or Muscle? Muscle the whole way, I love American Muscle. Rick Bra, do you see yourself going to more monthly car meets, e.g. Eco and the Gentleman's Jolly? Yes, I do want to get more into the car events because it's a lot of fun meeting all of you guys, vlogging at the same time, getting you guys in the vlogs as well, which is something that I'd love to do a lot more. Josh Robson, are you getting a Lamborghini next? Because Vags are the superior vehicle. Completely agree with that. And yes, I would love to have a Lamborghini next. That is what I am striving for. Nikolai Krebs, or Krebs, or Krebs, what car what cars are on the list for after the Audi R8? What is your dream garage? Three cars max. I've definitely answered that question. My realistic dream car garage would be a Shelby GT350, the new one, a Lamborghini LP640, and then a McLaren 570S. Daily supercar, daily hoon, LP640 weekend car. Boom. What's the best car you have ever driven from Welpe uh, Welpin? Best car I've ever driven. Best car I've ever driven. Quick, quick, quick. LP640. Alex Andre, how's Monaco and do you plan on going to any other motorsport events in the near future? M Monaco is insane, the videos prove that, and yes, I am wanting to go to loads more motorsport events. I'm hopefully going to be doing a racing series very soon on Supercars of London. Car Association, what is your dream car garage? Um, well, I hope I've answered that question already. Ben Richards, if you had to choose between a Lamborghini Veneno Roadster for life or a new supercar of your choice, maximum budget 150k every two years, which would you pick and why? I think I'd pick a new supercar of your choice every two years, and that is because the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster, as cool as it is, it doesn't actually come with a roof. And living in the UK, it's raining. Cody Peak. How long do you think it will be before you get your hands on other branded cars such as Mercedes, BMW and Jaguar? Also, where do you shop at? You have some of the best outfits. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, I really want to get my hands on all of these cars as, as soon as possible. I'm hoping that by the summer I'll have my hands on Mercedes, BMW and Jaguar. And I do quite a lot of shopping in Zara, Jack Wheels hoodie now. I'm wearing 
Abercrombie trackies and um, a Zara t-shirt. So Zara is where I do ma the majority of my shopping. I'm not into the sort of really high-end brands, mainly because I can't afford them. Liam Osborne, on your European road trip, what was your favorite driving road or the one place you had most recommend visiting? I think driving from Monaco to Grenoble is a lot of fun. It's a long drive, but a lot of fun through Route, route Napoleon. The mountain views are amazing. Kyle McMorrow, would you consider the new 570S as your second supercar? 100% yes. Liam Osborne, do you have any advice or tips on how to create a successful, use, a successful YouTube channel? Again, just continual fantastic comment. Try and find a niche, something that hasn't been done before. Look at what's already out there, see how you can twist it, how you can innovate it, and then go for it. Mammoth, what supercar seems to be the most common in your area? 458 straight. No, no questions. Hey, young Lee, if you had to destroy all supercars to spare one, which supercar would you spare? Oh, I think because I said Lam uh, uh, Pagani so much, it would probably have to be a Zonda, but I feel bad destroying Lamborghinis and Ferraris. But Adrian Tan, dude, how have you managed to buy an R8 at a young age? It's been a dream of mine to own a supercar. I never knew how I was going to do it. And then once I left university and just sort of knuckled down, I worked about 75, 80 hours a week on my business to try and make it work. So lots of sleepless nights and um, just working hard. But the, the brilliant thing is that this is my passion. So I never feel like I'm actually working, which is like just the best combination ever. So always follow your dreams, always follow your passion and you'll get there. Calvin Zahn, do you like tuner cars, Nissan and Mazda, etc.? If so, which one would you choose to own? Does the Nissan GTR count, the R35? If it does, I'd have a Nissan GTR because easily tunable. If not, I love the Mazda RX-7. I think that's just an insane car. And during like Need for Speed Underground 2 and those sorts of game, I always had one of them. Wide body kit, black and orange, just like the one in Fast and the Furious. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is page seven of seven on the car throttle uh, feed, on the community section of my post of Ask Me Anything. So hopefully that quick fire round has answered a lot of questions. I feel like I've answered loads and loads of questions. There was a few questions that came up twice, so hopefully if um, I wasn't able to answer your individual question, hopefully I mentioned you off the car throttle website and actually answered your question in a previous question. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. There's definitely gonna be a lot more question and answers coming, but that is it. Make sure that you head over to the Car Throttle YouTube channel as well. There's gonna be links in the description and across my video around here where you can check out my reader's ride, find out um, a lot more information about the car when it was baby blue, because it was filmed just before this went Matt Gray. So thank you for watching guys. Huge thanks to Car Throttle. This has been an amazing collaboration and by no means is it the last. It just sucks that the weather is absolutely dreadful and it's only gonna get louder. So um, thank you for watching guys. Make sure that you subscribe to Supercars of London and head over to Car Throttle and subscribe to them. You've been amazing. I love all of your support. I've loved answering all of your questions. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, email, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Um, I always try and answer all of my messages as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your love and support, guys. Thank you very much. And au revoir. Goodbye. I'm going to start the car up and go because it's raining. And then, of course, I've got the Army Tricks Valvetronic exhaust so I can change between loud and quiet. Yeah.